Come on, the show's starting. Let's go. He's mine. Yes, she's really mine. He's mine. Yes, she's really mine. He's mine. Wop doo wop doo wop. He's mine. Wop doo wop doo wop. He's mine. Wop doo wop doo wop. Really mine. I bet my baby loves the song. He really. If 
show but stick around and have yourself a couple of more rounds of that good juice we'll see you about midnight joke anyway. Well, I mean, it's a lousy joke, huh, buddy? How do you know it's a lousy joke, shrimp? I heard it. It stinks. Stinks? My joke stinks? Charlie, sit down. You're making a scene. What do you mean, making a scene? That little squirt said my joke stinks. It stinks. Almost as much as you, fatso. I stink? The reason he's laughing so hard is he forgot the punchline. Can't finish the joke, the drunken phony. Uh, you... oh, leave him alone, Charlie. He's just a wise guy. Leave him alone. Are you insulting me? I know, I know. He won't do it again. If he bothers you that much, we'll get rid of him. He bothers me that much! And sit someplace else. You bother me, fatty. Why may call the management and have you tossed on? You know, I got influence in this here place. I can have you tossed down your hair. Go ahead. Be my guest. Hey, Philippe! Philippe, come over here! We, oui, Monsieur Johnson? Hey, Mac, get out of the way, will you? Uh, Try to see the show. Philippe! This guy is annoying me. Get rid of him. Annoying you, Monsieur Johnson? That's right, me too. And her too. Monsieur, I will have to ask you to go. All right. Ask me. Will you leave quietly? No. Now be this smart boy and don't come back or I'll break your head. Break whose head, you phony Frenchman? You ain't so tough. Took this moose here to throw me out. Because that only proves how much smarter than you he is. Didn't even get his hair mussed. Let you do all the dirty work. Break his neck! Maybe I ought to break your neck. But don't get wise with me, boy. I could fire you tonight. Fire me? Sure. He's just been looking for the chance. He hates bartenders and orphans. Hey, listen, big shot. You ain't gonna fire me tonight. Oh, yeah? You're fired! Why, you, I'll give you a... <laughs> Oh, 
Cool, baby, cool. The blockbusters are still blowing an instrumental, but in about an eighth of a lick, I'll swing you in there and you can wail for all them cats. And you'll gas them, baby. You'll really gas them. I hope you're right. Right? I'm always straight. If I ain't straight, it means I ain't with it. And tonight, baby, I'm with it. Well, get with it, man. It's frigid out here. Got to make it over to the Swingsville. Cool, you'll make it, Eddie. You got an hour before you start to blow. I got to cop this chicken audition with Big Al. I want to see a gasm right out of his skull. Hey, like, man, look, you're always taking us on these auditions. When are you going to set us up in a real swinging joint? Oh, cool it in front. You squeezing the goose and the golden egg. I got your gig already. Oh, I wish I was. Scared, Julie? Yeah, a little. It's just that I've never been on an audition before. I think this owl will really like me. Oh, sure, he'll like you, baby. He'll love you. You're just being kind. No, 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 we're not. He'll flip when he hears you. It's just... Just what? Well, look, baby, an audition at Al's doesn't mean much. You know, like, uh, Sir Bob breaks in all his acts here. Got a live audience, it's good for the practice. He hasn't hired anybody yet, but he hasn't got the bread either. Oh. Hey! Finishes the number. Bust them up when they're having so much fun. It's your conscience, not mine. Check your IDs. Oh, oh come on, no, man. We were just I'm sorry, there. but I gotta do it. We serve wet stuff in this joint. That is, uh, once in a while we do. Man, I don't have my ID with me. How old are you? 21. Me too. I'm sorry, but you don't have the dope to prove it. So I gotta use my own judgment if I'm gonna keep my license. Let him jump, Al. Don't be unfair. Unfair? Yeah, man, you unfair to organize stomping. Turn it off. Good night, kids. Oh, wait a minute. I want to stick around for a while. Look, Mike, don't get in the beef. We'll go where we're welcome. Drag. Drag City. Your first satisfied customers in two years, and you had to throw them out. You just want to see me get close, so you'll have a story. <laughs> the day I get a story out of this dump, I'll buy a bottle of your watered rye. Hey, Daddy, did you dig the blockbusters? They're great. How about another number, boys? Free jam called for free beer, cool. Cool, you got it. Cool, rock and roll guitar, fellas. <laughs> There's a guitar man with the hardest little combo in the land with a real gun rhythm. All the cats are free. When it sends you jack, you a real gun cat like me. When he plays his rock and roll guitar, he packs them in from near and far with a real gun rhythm. He's the best by far. 
They call him the king of the rock and roll guitar blow the maddest mess of music ever. A thousand a week is still a bit high for me. Your gums will beat a different tempo when I turn you on to Julie. Julie? Yeah, the chick that wails with him. Like, look, these cats have got time for one more number, see? And like, if you want to dig the kitty Julie, I got her stashed right out in the short. Bring her in. Crazy. Get ready to flip. How about that story, huh, Steve? No. Give me one sensible reason. <laughs> because I'm the only reputable man left in a disreputable business. I have standards. Nobody with standards will be found dead in my job. <laughs> Al, you ever heard of Mark Hellinger? You are no Mark Hellinger. My point exactly. I need something solid to go on. My human interest stories need... Ah, you wouldn't understand. You're right. I wouldn't understand. You gonna drink that same beer all night? Fill it up. No. Oh, stop complaining. I could use a story in the papers. It would build up business. No. You're on the arm for 14 bucks. was about to be syndicated in 85 newspapers. That is, if my idiot editor has any sense. So how come you owe me 14 bucks? Because my idiot editor has no sense. Stick to the subject. How about doing a story on me? <laughs> Al, you're a dull man with a dull past and an even duller future. There is nothing about you that could possibly interest any human being who can read. Again, you're changing the subject. Now, I got the thing all set up, Julie, so dig me hard. Go in, dig the action, get up on the stand, and then start to blow. Hey, let me have a beer. Have I got a magnet or something pulls you to this place? I was thirsty. A hundred saloons you could be thirsty in front of. Why does it always have to be me? I like you, Al. My wife hates me, and you like me. That's the kind of luck I got. Throw it, will you? Sure. What if I'm bad? What if I'm just terrible? Bad? Terrible? Why, Kitty, you're the queen. You're the singular most. You're the tip-top troposcope of the flip. You're, you're the... Look, baby, you're just a little scared. Go ahead, go on in there. Those squares don't know the difference between Dinah Washington and the Washington Monument. That's right. Come on. He likes me. 
Last week, he likes me 29 bucks worth of busted tables and chairs. You wouldn't think a little guy could do so much damage. What's he so sore about? What's any little man sore about? About that story you're gonna do about my place. Well, I leave all bar stories up to men like Saroy and O'Neill. Why? Because they're better than I am. Well, ain't you better than anybody? Well, I'm better than Phil Krause. Who's Phil Krause? Never heard of him, huh? No. That proves I'm better than he is. Fill it up. You got the most unfunny jokes I ever heard. Hey, oh, buddy Al. This is Julie, the chick that's going to lift the lid right off of this gin mill. Nice to meet you. This is Steve. Maybe he'll get your name in the papers. Could be, could be. Let's hear you. Yeah. Now, go ahead, honey. You get right up there on that bandstand, and you wail up a swinging breeze. Go on. We only got a minute, baby. What'll it be? Uh, I guess I won't hang around here anymore. Solid. Her man is gone. Her man is gone. I guess. I guess we won't do the job anymore. Oh, no, no more. My man is gone. Her man is gone. Her man is gone. The things we used to do, those things we did together, Try with someone new Won't change my stormy weather He's my golden sun Now there's no done I guess I won't hang around here anymore Oh no, no more My man is Crazy, baby. Wild. Sure, Julie. Just, just fine. No, it wasn't. Dig this little half a studlet. He doesn't know crazy sound when he hears it. Pay up and get out. I'll get out when I'm ready. You get out now. No, he's right. I know he's right, and so do you. I'd have said so if he hadn't. Look, she was bad. That doesn't mean I don't think she can't sing good once she gets over being nervous. I might do better next time. Sorry, little girl. We've got to catch a train. Better luck next time. Come on, fellas. Night, all. Dig you later, Shabbat. Don't worry about it, honey. I liked you, even if you think you were bad. Thank you. Put your name in the paper anyway. I wish you wouldn't. Not yet. We'll say nice things about you. Poor little us. Boy, do we feel sorry for ourselves. Snatch that square! Why don't you go play in traffic? Some writer. First time I heard that one, I laughed so hard I broke my teething ring. Look, if you're really a singer, you'll laugh that one off and try another. Didn't I see another bunch, you should pardon the expression, musicians sitting outside in front? You did, Dad. I have the groovy honor of wheeling and dealing for that mad group. 
Why don't you bring him in so she can do another number? Done, Dad. Root beer, honey? I'd like one, thank you. You're the show here. Tell him drinks on the house. Look, don't bug me, Daddy. Now, don't hang me up. Look, are you flip, man? We go on in 45 minutes. Don't lay that bad jazz down on me, man. You just don't want to blow. We're only 10 minutes from the swing house. Oh, enough's enough, man. Like, we're always wailing for you for no bread. Now, dig me hard, Daddy. You're gonna go in there and ride. This place taken? My hat's on it. That ain't what I asked. My hat sounded you weren't listening. Well, take it off. Go someplace else. Hey, Maple, listen to this little punk. Come on, don't start anything. I got half a mind to break him in half. You're taking the edge, big guy. I don't figure you for half a mind. I want an apology. Why is it the little guys always want to pick fights? I'm a bartender, not a philosopher. Say something nicer, I'm gonna bounce you right off that wall. Now start talking. I'm talking, you listening? Smart guy. Come on, I want a drink. Shut up, Mabel. My hat's on it. I said I want a drink. They got tables for ladies. Come on. We, oui, Maud, I'm a lady. Couple of beers. Maybe I want scotch. Two beers. Coming up. Beer drinkers, that's all I get. Low pockets sure made a jerk out of you. When we get home, I'm gonna kick a couple of your teeth out. Yeah, will you ever see a lady with no teeth? Who says you're a lady? Oh, boy. But there's a story in that. It all took place in Al's Cloud Nine. Why? Well, little guy made a big guy step down. That's the story. Well, it's an incident. The story has to have a beginning, a middle, and an end. Well, you're a writer. You fill in those spots. A statement like that is one sure way of endearing yourself to a writer. You're not a writer. You're a newspaper man. <laughs> That's a way, too. For me, Daddy. It's for me. Now, come on. Snap it up. Let's get with it, Daddy. Come on. All right. Get all right. This ready. is the place. Come on. Up there. Up there and lay down something real groovy. You lay it down and Julie will pick it up. Won't you, Julie? The court musicians await your flipness. Sounds like we're going to have music. I hope so. Don't hope, baby. Just sing. You got it, you know it. Now lay it down real strong, baby. It's coming back. Every time I have to sing in front of people, I get this rock in my stomach. Well, put that rock in your throat, baby, because you aren't going to make any loot singing in the shower. What'd you have for dinner, chop suey? Don't say anything, Jimmy. You're just making it worse. Oh, oh, yes, I'm a great... Pretender Pretending that I'm doing well My need is such I pretend too much I'm lonely But no one can tell Oh yes I'm the great pretender I drift in a world of my own. It sings like a little lark. I sing to be what I'm not, you see. I'm wearing my heart like a crown. Too real is this feeling of make. I'll pick it up next time around. Look great. 
The next champ, Al. The next champ is sitting in your joint. Look great on TV. All this stuff was wick. Hear that? Al knows he's seen them all. <laughs> when the set's working. He's gonna chicken on you. He's what? First chance he gets, he's gonna chicken. Who's he? A friend, sorta. Of. What's he, a manager? A trainer? A second, maybe? He's on nothing. He's on nothing, kid. I always told you, don't listen to nobody but me. And I'll have you wearing the diamond belt. What's he gonna buy with the lousy $25 he won tonight? Lousy $25. You gotta start small, Syl. Believe me, I got the kid's interest at heart. I wouldn't put him in over his head. Not me. Sure, listen to Marty. He knows. A truck driver makes more and doesn't get his teeth knocked out. It was only one tooth. I'm getting him a new mouthpiece, Syl. And what's more, he's gonna get the title. He's a killer. He's got the instinct. Please don't start nothing, Sil. If I got a right. But you keep hammering and hammering. My brother wants Lester to go in business with him. Don't call him Lester. That's his name. What kind of a name is that for a fighter? You don't have to be a fighter. I didn't marry a fighter. You said you were going into business with my brother. You promised. That was before I met Marty. He's got the instinct, Sil. I waited years for a guy like the kid. I waited all my life. Think of all the things I promised you, honey. All the things we see in the windows. And it won't be long once I get them moving. Once I start teaching them what I know. The, honey, the, the title. Think of the title. You could see it tonight. He moved like a cat. Spit like a tiger. I wish you'd lost tonight. Don't say that. I mean it. Well, I don't want to hear it. I wish he'd made you bleed. I wish he'd punched you and beat you and smashed you. Shut up, Syl. Shut up. Why do tough guys always tell dames to shut up? Because they talk too much. Try again? Like it's got to wear off soon. I know. Just don't push me. Cool. Hey, man, you want us to keep jamming? Yeah, Daddy, you got a little time. Yeah, I'm hip. Where'd you pick her up? Julie? Well, you see, my pad is right next to hers. You know, and every day about 4 p.m., I'm in the kit, Dreamsville style, dig? And this chick wakes me up wailing up a storm to records, dig? Mm -hmm. So I make that she's got a crazy sound, and I figure maybe I could sell it. Mm. Well, keep trying. I don't know, man. Like, I don't know. Hey, have a little service. What'll it be? Bourbon. You gotta just drink beer, Jigger. Bourbon for me, beer for him. Jigger, you shouldn't. I never saw a guy so nervous. Everything went wrong, everything. Supposing he don't show, what do we do then? It ain't time. What if he don't? We'll be picked up sure. Look, at nine, we'll be on a corner. It's all worked out now. You drink your beer and you stop worrying. Jerry, long time no see. I was here last night. Oh, yeah, yeah, I, I, I forgot. How's business? Fine, fine. Bit slow, perhaps, but uh, fine. Scotch. 20-year-old. Got it special for you. No trouble, huh? No trouble, Jerry. You know, I don't want no trouble. Good boy, Al.
Well, you finally got a scotch drinker. Now, maybe you'll stop dunning me for that 14 bucks. For a newspaper guy, you're kind of blind. He don't pay me. I pay him. Why? Because plate glass windows cost 150 bucks a piece. Without the lettering, that's extra. Why don't you call the cops, Al? Because a broken arm costs more. Hey, cutie. Hey, baby doll, I'm talking to you. Excuse me? How come you're sitting all alone? Got stood up? No. no well, we can fix that right now. Don't bug the lady, Pop. She's with me. I'm gullible. I believe a lot of things. But she just couldn't be with you. He's right, Jerry. Only she's not his date. She's singing here. Sir Bob's her agent. Singing? She don't look like she's singing. She's got problems. Well, who hasn't? I'd like to hear her sing. How about it, huh? I can't. <laughs> what do you mean, you can't? I, I just... She means she don't want it. Now you can shove her across the room or leave her alone. Take your choice. Hey, like, man, we gotta split, huh? Hey, man, let's cut out. All right, let's get out of this toilet. You sure got a fast turnover of bands in this dump. Maybe we'll have a fast turnover of reporters, too. Come on, Julie. We'll put you on down swing, too. I don't know. See out in the wheels, Julie. Yeah, Julie, let's split this scene. Like, these sad drags don't want to be late for that 25-cent gig, you know. I don't like that place. Do I have to go? Well, like, baby, I can't leave you here alone. Sure you can. I'll look after her. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, the band's only sitting relieved. We'll fall back before you can say Dizzy Gillespie. Later. What was that? A creep. Relax. Got another root beer, Al? You bet. Staring at me. Yeah. I know you? No. Then stop staring. <laughs> Big man. You little guys think you can laugh and get away with it. But size don't make no difference to me. He's an old friend, Jerry. Okay, Al. I'm in a good mood. Celebrating, sort of. Buy him a drink. I pay my own way. You little punks give me a laugh. You big punks don't give me nothing. How about your own way? Good scar gel. Keep it in stock. Sure thing. Wish I could make Jerry Kaito like that. So he's celebrating, huh? Somebody die. How do I know? I was making a joke. I was saying something witty. So how come I ain't laughing? Because you're a dull man with no sense of humor and no finer sensitivities. Wish I could own one of those plush joints. Kind where all the drunks are rich drunks and you can throw them out. I wouldn't let nobody with a lumber jacket in. Uh, I don't like those plush saloons. I wouldn't let you in either. Uh -huh. wouldn't let no newspaper man in. Unless maybe he wrote a story about me. And maybe I'd let him free house for, say, uh, two weeks. Six months. A month? Six months. Why is it everybody is out to see that I lose money? On TV, everybody loves the bartender. They tell them their troubles and everything. Would you care to hear my troubles, Al? I got troubles of my own. Hey, uh, give me a drink, will you? Anything, scotch, bourbon, rye, anything. Only give me a drink. You should have seen it, mister. You wouldn't believe it. I'm walking down the street thinking maybe I'll make a movie or I'll shoot a game of pool or something, see? And then I'm walking in front of this grocery store. Then I hear these two shots. It didn't sound like no car backfiring. It sounded like shots, see? 
And then these two punks run out. They, they almost knocked me over. And then they rush off, see? And uh, for a minute, I'm just standing there. I'm dumbbounded, see? Actually dumbbounded. And then I, I rush in. And that's when I see these two old people. This old man and his wife were laying on the floor dead. The whole face was shot away. It's the most awful thing I ever saw. Thanks, Al. Then this cop comes in, see? He starts asking me a million questions. Then there's a million cops swarming all over the place, looking for the two punks and brother. How'd you like to hear that sound again? Oh, there. Get on that door. Is there a back way to this joint? No. I, I mean, yeah, yeah. Through that door. Well, don't anybody move toward that door. Everybody just sit quiet. You want the dough, it's in the register. Plenty of time for that. There'll be a car along in 15 minutes. Don't nobody make a false move and nobody will get hurt. I make myself clear? <laughs> what are you laughing at? He ain't laughing at nothing. I mean, I told him a joke. Well, I like a good joke, you tell me. What's the joke? You. If he could talk, he'd tell you I ain't got no sense of humor. I don't see it, Jigger. I don't see the car. It ain't time yet. Now get away from there. Lock that door. Who was he, Al? Just a guy. Nobody's just a guy. He must have been somebody. Pete something, that's all I know. Hey, reporter, are you gonna write his obituary? Right now, I'm too busy composing my own. Al, you'd be surprised what a great guy I'm turning out to be. Well, you can join him, reporter. You just say the word. Does Pete something make you nervous, punk? Why should he? Why do you talk to him, Jigger? Because I want to see how big a mouth he's got before I shut it up for good. Funny how small a big guy looks when he's dead. Do we, do we have to leave him lay there, Jigger? You come away from that door. What'd you give him, Al? Scotch or bourbon? I can't remember. He looked like a scotch drinker to you, Jigger? He looks dead, you understand? Just dead. Please, Jigger, please! Okay, okay. Only for you, you understand? Because he don't bother me one bit. Now get him out of here! I said drag him in back! Make believe it's a sack of flour, Angie. Shut your eyes and make believe you're heaving it on the back of a truck. What do you say, kid? Make like it's one of those dreams you're always having. Your opponent's on a canvas. I said get him out of here! And you shut up. You open your big mouth again, I'll lay you right next to him. Not unless I start running. Jacob, please! You. And you. You drag him out of here. Well, why me? Because I said you! Now why do I have to say everything ten times? Why? Come on, he won't bite, he's dead. You're dead too, Jigger. Always shooting, all of a sudden you're always shooting. You think I should let him run out hollering? You think I should let him bring the cops? You should have just hit him! I hit him! Now you bring that bottle of bourbon over here, and you get back on the door. Sure, Jigger. Where do you think you're going? We're late for an appointment. Well, you move like that again and you might never show up. Keep out of this, understand? Sure, Marty. I got an investment. Don't even move, honey, please. You think I'm crazy? I don't know. Maybe it's me who's crazy. What's wrong, baby? You sorry you didn't go to the swing house? Well, don't be. It's a dump. You and your big ideas. Shut up. Who you tell them to shut up? You. Uh, first, uh, a, a little shrimp tells you off and... and him, sit you down. Well, I mean, what kind of a man are you? 
You should have played poker with the guys. They told me you were no good. Uh, well, you got a pretty crummy bunch of friends. Yeah. Me. Yeah, big shot truck driver. All the time with the barbells with a big, fat, flabby muscle. Two drinks. Whiskey for me, beer for her. That'll teach you to open your big, fat oh, mouth. Hey, John, I'm just kidding. Yeah, you won't be happy if you get me killed. Can't get the streets lousy with cops. You sure? They're trying every door, going in every building. Lock the door. Mickey will never show. What are we going to do? Quarters. Huh? You, quarters. Give them to him. Now, we're going to make this joint sound like business as usual. My friend is going to put some quarters in the machine, and you're going to sing to him. And don't you tell me you can't. What if this don't work? Then we'll each grab one of these dames, we'll stick a gun in their ribs, and walk out of here like they're our dates. You understand? I'll start. <laughs> I guess I won't hang around here anymore. Oh no, what for? Loud! My man is gone. Her man is gone. Her man is gone. I guess we won't do the town anymore. Oh no, no more. My man is gone. Her man is gone. Her man is gone. The things we used to do, those things we did together, seem different now that he's gone. To try with someone new won't change my stormy weather. He's my golden sun. Now that Can I have that one, Jigger? Sure, sure. Oh boy, Mabel, you get them all, don't you, Ken? You really think these big men are gonna let you take their women away from them? Do you think they got a choice? Tell them, Jigger, tell them. I think they got a choice. Well, I'd like to see him start arguing. I'd sure like to see that. Hey, Muscles, he's gonna take yours. How about it, fighter? The little one can't be more than a middleweight. No argument. Well, I'd sure like to see it. I'd sure like to see that. You know what I'm gonna see? Talking, always talking. I'm gonna see you burn. What's that in? He's dead. You stop singing, you're dead too. Al? Did you lock the door, Al? Answer him. What'll I say? Just make it good. That you, Hogan? Anything wrong? Broke some glasses. Glass all over the floor. Have it cleaned up in five minutes. Okay, see you in an hour. Walking off, Jigger. My man is gone. Man is gone. That's great, little girl. Now you just keep that up and we'll all be okay. Man is gone. Still scared, huh? Worse. Yeah, but not of yourself anymore. That was your big problem. These jerks did you a favor. Some other time, Shorty. You know, cops are stupid. I must have met a thousand cops, and every one of them is stupid. Tangling with punks like you for the kind of money they draw, maybe they are. He twists everything, Jigger, everything. He twists it. Now listen inside. We know you two are in there. Come out with your hands up. 
Come out one at a time. We'll give you two minutes. You must have got the only smart cop in town. What do we do, Jigger? Think. You said you'd do the thinking for both of us. Now think. You put a lock on that back door. Yeah. Hey, reporter. You think the cops will open up? They might. They might. Yeah, well, people are gonna get hurt then. Somebody's gotta take that gun away from you. <laughs> Shorty, you've got a real sense of humor. Hey, Joey, you missed something. You come here. Tell him, Shorty. Uh, Joey will give his up because he's a scared of pain. He's got that look. But Jigger. No, somebody's got to take his away from him. Yeah, well, I'd like to see anybody try. You just step up and get your head blown off. Me too, huh, Jigger? I ain't scared no matter what he says. Okay. Okay, let's see one of you big men start acting like a big man. I don't want any more talking. Because I got some heavy thinking to do. I love to watch big guys when the squeeze is on. Think, Jigger, think. <laughs> See him, Jigger. I can see him. Get away from that door. Now put your hands up high and walk out slow. One at a time. He must think I'm crazy. They can always come in and get you. I'll pile him up at the door. Did you ever hear of tear gas, punk? I heard of it. You shut up and watch yourself. Ever taste it, reporter? Never had the pleasure. They tell me it's like an acid. It eats into your lungs and burns and burns. Make him shut up, Jigger. Hey, cop! Can you hear me? I hear you. Now, there's a lot of people in here. You want me to roll them out to you one at a time? Smart, Jigger, smart. Because if you use tear gas, I'll kill him. You hear? I'll kill him! He's crazy, Lester. He's crazy. Lester? Your name really Lester? So what? His name's Lester. <laughs> it figures. Hey, why don't you pass out some drinks? You got company. Sure, sure. Who cares if I make a living? Lester, huh? What a name. I don't think it's so funny. Sit down, kid. Think of the title, kid. Please, Les, please. I wouldn't tangle with him, Jigger. He's got the killer instinct. So have I. Just sit down quiet, Lester. <laughs> Some killer instinct. Hey, Lester, you better go in business with a brother. We can't stay here forever, Jigger. For a while. Till they try a rush. No, I wasn't kidding. I'm gonna knock off as many of you as I can. On you first. Even before the ladies? Shut up. And then you, because I don't like your face. Why me? Because I don't like your face. It's all your fault, you and your big mouth. You better buy some new barbells, Angie. Get some with guts in them next time. Danny, the water pistol he's waving around, he's just nuts enough to shoot somebody in cold blood. All you have to do is walk over and take it away from him. You talk too much. Yeah! Hey, how come you stop singing? They know you're here. You don't need me anymore. Well, sing anyway. It's good for my nerves. What's left of them? That's a big mouth and a little head. Hey, reporter, you want to be a hero? No, thanks. My editor might give me a bonus for writing this story. I need the money. Maybe then you'll pay me the 14 bucks you owe me. I'll be happy to. Only you see, Al, I don't give us more than eight to five to see tomorrow. What about you? Keep me out of this. Why? You got Al scared. He pays off because he's scared. I do that, Al. Tell him he's got the wrong guy. He's got the right guy. Oh, you punk, you just wait. You show your face in here again, and it'll break your head for you. You know who you're talking to, you know? I know. You're a yellow punk. If you had any guts, you would have done something instead of crawling. I pay you for protection, so go ahead and protect. Well, you out of your head? I got trouble, Jerry. I pay you 50 a week to keep me out of trouble. Here's your chance to pay off. Maybe you come first, you. Because I don't like shakedown guys. I'm going to turn you in. I'm through paying off. Looks like we've run out of heroes. Counting out all the muscle men and the brains. All right, I'll use the tear gas. Better come on. He talks too much. Uh, look, fella, let's talk this over. I got a lot of connections. I could use a smart boy like shut you. Shut up. A smart fella like you. I said shut up. Some smart fella. Knocks off a grocery and gets half the cops of New York down on his neck. 
Jig I don't like big guys. You said that. I'm going to take that gun away from you. You nuts! And you're going to give it to me because you've been thinking. You've been thinking about pleading insanity, haven't you? I haven't been thinking about anything. I'm going to shoot my way out of here. Get back to the bar. You'll shoot. He hasn't got the guts, have you, Jigger? Oh, I got the guts. I say you got nothing. I say you're bluffing, Jigger. You're yellow. You shut up. Tell him to shut up, Jigger. He scares me. I already told him. Oh, no guts. You crazy? Give me that gun, Jigger. Give me that gun before I nail you to the wall. I ought to kill you. I ought to. You ought to. I ought to. Kill you you ought to kill me. Don't shoot. Don't shoot. Don't shoot. Don't shoot. A jigger. I know it is, Jigger. We, we, we got a chance this way. Maybe, maybe, maybe they won't burn us. Sometimes they don't. Get out of here. They'll shoot. Those cops will shoot. But you, you tell them. You're, you're a swell little guy. You tell them. Tell them, Al. Coming out. Unarmed. Don't shoot. No guns. No guns! No guns! No guns! All right, take it, boys. Come on, Angie, let's go. Yeah. You know, I thought you'd really be scared, but you weren't. You really weren't. All I had to do was lay a finger on you, Mabel. Oh, 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 yeah. She's a great <laughs> Well, you better get some sleep, kid. You still don't know, do you, Marty? All I know is you're going to get me the title. I was scared, Marty. Scared like I am when I'm in the ring. You got the instinct, kid. Don't let a thing like this throw you. Come on, Sil. Let's go see your brother. Everything okay, Al? Take this one, too. Extortion. I'll testify. Come on. We've been waiting for you. Man, you ought to dig all that action out there. There's fuzz all over the place. Hey, Jiggy. I conned the cats into blowing another number for you. Did you get rid of the shivers yet? I got rid of them. Solid. Well, now get up there on that bandstand and start wailing. And maybe we can sell you to old loot loving Al yet. If Julie wants a job, she's got one. I just save 50 bucks a week. Crazy! Did you dig that? But she's turning it down. How's that, Dad? She's not gonna sing. Is he laying a level story on me? Well, straighten me. Ask my friend. She doesn't want to sing. Outside of her home, that is. It was you and your phony line of bullet made her want to try in the first place. She proved she can do it, and she's happy. So why don't you just drive her home? Hold on. What was that jazz about my phony line of bull? Oh, come on. You heard me. You know, a man your age has got no natural reason for talking and acting like a high school kid. You pretend to be a jazz expert. You're just a phony bag of wind. Did you get it that time? What do I owe you, Al? Nothing. Nothing from now on. How about the best for the road? No, thanks. I think I'll take it a movie. They're playing that picture again over on 2nd Avenue. You take care of these, huh? Sure. I'll see you, Al. See ya. Shorty. I think I'd kind of like to see a movie, too. Sure. Come on. You can stick around for a few bows. What's so important about a movie? This is a special movie. He's seen it about 20 times. It's an old picture called King Kong. Oh, I saw it. Long time ago. I don't think there's anything special. Remember the size of that beast? Well, he was big, about 50 feet high. Remember the size of the guy that knocked him over? <laughs> 